Following God's process is what leads to God's peace. You can be a Christian and not have peace. Anybody can testify to that reality, right? So how do we get this peace that Jesus promised? How do we receive the gift? How do we unpack the gift of peace in our lives? Well, it happens when we follow God's process. So there's a process in place. And in Judges chapter 6, we see God stepping into the lives of his people to restore peace, not only to Gideon, but to the entire nation. Even though Israel was responsible for losing the peace because they had not listened to God, we read that a moment ago, they were the reason that they no longer had peace. But nevertheless, God steps in and says, I'm going to bring about a process that will restore peace to your lives. And I'm here to tell you today, and I hope that you'll hear this with faith in your heart, that today can be your day when peace comes to live in you. Peace can be freshly reestablished in your life. If you've lost your peace recently and you're worrying about something, you're anxious, you're afraid, you're troubled by something, and you can't find rest on the inside, today can be your day if you'll follow the process. And God chose Gideon. He said, Gideon, I'm going to make an example of you. And he chose Gideon. I'm going to make something out of you. I'm going to bring peace to you. And out of the peace that I bring to you, peace will come to the nation. And so Gideon had to experience a renewal of God's peace personally before he could be used by God to bring peace to the nation around him. And that's how God always starts. If you want peace in a family, maybe peace needs to start with you. Amen. If you want peace in your business, maybe, maybe peace needs to start with you. And this is exactly what happens. God needed someone that he could start the process with. And God said, Gideon, I chose you. I want peace in my land. But to get peace in my land, I need peace in a man first. And so when I get it in the man, I can get it in the land. 